I've had this package sitting on my desk unopened for over a month. I know what's inside and it's taken a ton of willpower to resist opening it because I wanted to share this moment with you. Today, I'll either be welcoming back an old friend or possibly saying goodbye forever. Let's take a look at exactly what's inside here. So what is this? I mean, obviously it's a notebook, but it also happens to be the potential savior to my all time favorite paper, Tomo River paper. Now, why do I say this is the potential savior to my favorite paper? And what am I even talking about here anyway? Well, let me explain. No, that is too much. Let me sum up. Let's quickly pop over to Japan. Sometime around 1981, Tomogawa, a Japanese manufacturer, released Tomo River Paper, a lightweight coated paper that I learned about around 30-ish years later. After discovering the joy of writing with fountain pens, though, I eventually stumbled on this paper and, well, it was magic. I'd tried tons of different papers and notebooks at the time and never really found one that I especially loved. When I tried Tomo River Paper for the first time, I immediately knew I'd found my favorite and I never looked back. For a paper that's insanely thin, it almost never feathered. The quality was always super consistent, which was awesome compared to other papers that I'd tried at the time, and it was amazing at showing off unique ink properties. This is where things get interesting though. Skip ahead a few years, and around the spring of 2019, Tomogawa, remember they're the ones that were making this paper, well, they announced that the machine producing Tomo River the number, the number seven machine would be decommissioned at the end of the year. The silver lining though, was that production would be moved to another machine at the same plant, the number nine machine. This gave birth to the new version of the paper that we in the writing community logically have been calling new Tomo River paper. This wasn't the end of the saga though. A couple of more years later, in 2021, Tomogawa scared the pants off the writing community by announcing that they were going to shut down the number nine machine by the end of the year. You know, the one that was making the new paper. This basically meant the complete end of Tomo River paper. Cue mass hysteria and calligra pandemonium. Now, Honestly, I wasn't too much of a fan of the new Tomo River paper. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So the news didn't hit me as hard as it may have others, but a few months later in 2021, something interesting happened. Tomogawa announced that it was selling all rights to Tomo River to Sanzen Paper, another Japanese manufacturer who would continue to make the paper. Which brings us to today. This is the latest version of Tomo River paper made by Sanzen that's collectively known as Tomo River Successor. Because this can get a little confusing, and just to recap, we started with the original version, that was my favorite, then we transitioned to the new version when they did that whole machine swap thing. That's the version that I didn't really like so much. And now we're at the current version called Successor. So today, I'll be testing to see how the new successor paper stacks up against the other versions because while the original paper was my favorite at the time and still ranks pretty high on my list, I was really disappointed when I tried the new version. Here's why. Let's start with a little writing sample of the word calligraphy. Here's how it looks on the original paper. And now here's how it looks on the new version of the paper. You may be detecting that the two look a little bit different. See how much worse the second version looks? I wrote both of these samples under essentially identical conditions, same pen and same day, literally within seconds of each other. This amount of feathering basically made the new version unusable. That's why I wasn't as disappointed when I heard that they were planning to discontinue the new version, but the question is, how does the latest successor paper compare? Will it resurrect my original champ or will I be forever saying goodbye to my favorite paper? To do the test, I grabbed three of my notebooks, each with a different version of the paper. From left to right, we've got the original, the new, and finally Sanzen's successor on the right. 
I cut out a page from each of the books and labeled them at the top just to keep track. For the actual test, I wanted to put each sheet under as much inky stress as possible. I added a full drop of Iroshizuku Yamabudo ink to the top of the page and just let it sit for a while, followed by a rough line with an eyedropper. I then wrote the names with a glass dip pen and a couple of letters with a parallel pen loaded with a red ink cartridge, which tends to be one of the wetter colors in the series. As a final test, I wrote out the word tumble with a folded pen, which I knew would drop a ton of ink onto the page. Before I even started with the parallel pen though, I could tell things were going pretty poorly for the successor paper. The purple ink drop and the lines started feathering quickly and it just kept getting worse. I had the same problem writing with the glass dip pen and the feathering was most severe with the folded pen. You can actually see it happening here. This clip is just over two minutes in real time and here it is once more just in case you missed it. In comparison, the original and new versions of the paper perform much better in all the tests. I think this shot pretty much sums things up. You can even see here the subtle difference in sheen between the original and new papers. I find the sheen to be a little bit more pronounced and shinier on the original paper than the new, but it is close. So I'm officially done with the video and I'm just kind of left here with my thoughts. Um, when I started the video, I really didn't have any idea at how this was going to go. I recorded the beginning part. I hadn't even opened the package yet. So I've literally been doing this in steps over, over the day. I genuinely believed that as I tested the new paper, the conclusion would be, Hey, they figured it out and we're right back where we started the new paper. Maybe it's even better than the original. I actually saw a review out there that said it was better than the original and it may very well be for. Um, for somebody else's purposes, but for my uses, for the types of lettering and calligraphy and even just writing with fountain pens that I enjoy, um, th this, this was quite a surprise, especially at the bottom there. I mean, it started at the top. Honestly, I would say the biggest shocker from today was how well the new Tomo River paper performed. I thought that was going to go much worse for the new Tom River paper, but honestly performed quite well in comparison to the new Sanzen version. In the end, uh, I would still say that the original Tomo River paper is definitely my favorite. And in my opinion, it performs way better for the qualities that I, I believe are most important than the other papers. I feel like it sheens better. It resists the ink better. Here's the feathering on the Sanzen paper. You can see all the way through. Here is new Tomo River paper. If you can see the back, you can probably already tell that it's it's quite a substantial difference between the two. And finally, sorry, I'm talking about bleed. I'm so disoriented, the bleed on the paper. So here is the original. I'm bring closer to my face so you can see it. So it's in focus. Here is the original Tomo River paper. So I will cover myself up here, most likely, and show you here is all three with Sanzen, Sanzen in the middle here, new Tomo River paper over here, and finally the original on this side over here so that is that is how they compare as far as the bleeding goes so where do we go from here future me here i recorded my review yesterday and after the way things turned out wanted to give the successor paper another shot before wrapping as surprising and interesting as it is to get such a shocking result I really wanted to give this successor paper a fair shake. I've run into quality issues in the past with other papers too, where one page works really well, while another page in the very same notebook will feather terribly. I also tried another ink this time. Uh, I used Noodler's Army Green, I think it was, that I still had in a bottle. I loaded up the folded pen again and just started writing on the new page. To my complete surprise, this time the paper performed great and didn't feather at all, even with tons of ink on the page. I even let the notebook stand for over 20 minutes. Still no feathering. So at this point, I'm thinking maybe this is just a quality issue. Well, when I used the same blue ink as yesterday, which was Diamine Majestic Blue, the exact same thing happened. Within just a few moments, feathering was everywhere. 
Just like yesterday, I did the same test on the original and new versions, and they both performed great. I also checked the amount of bleed again, and just like yesterday, the sand zen paper was worst, with the new actually performing best and the original second best. Back to my question of where do we go from here? It looks like your experience with the latest sans and successor paper will vary depending on the properties of ink you're using. In my tests, overall, the original paper is still my favorite, and for the types of calligraphy and writing that I do, I honestly can't recommend the new successor paper. Now, I know you're thinking we're ending on a pretty sad note here, but I may have some amazing news for you. In researching this video, I may have accidentally found a spot that still sells the original paper. You heard me right, the original Tomo River paper in very reasonably priced notebooks, which is pretty incredible. To make totally sure that this is 100% accurate though, I'm reaching out to them again to confirm and I'll share the outcome in my very next newsletter. You can sign up at blackletterfreebies.com and you'll also get a bunch of other awesome free resources like my ultimate black letter guide sheets, some free procreate brushes, and a ton more. So for now, let's keep our fingers crossed and I'll let you know when I find out. Until then, if you know of any other places that still sell the original paper, please do share in the comments below. Also, let me know if you'd like to see me try out some other combinations or run some other tests. I'll put links to the inks that I used in the description below. They're some of my favorite sheening inks and I love writing with them all the time. All right, keep writing, keep playing, have fun, and I'll see you next time.